Now let's talk about another terms here, convex set and extreme points. Let's take a look at what they mean. So if you have a set of points, we call it S. And then that set is a convex set. If you draw any line using two points in that set, the line is still contained in the set. So let's use these four examples to make it clear. Let's take a look at the first one here, a circle. If you use any two points inside the circle to draw a line, the line is always inside the circle. So you pick any two points in the circle and draw a line. The line is always wholly contained in the circle. So this is a convex set. What about the second one, rectangle? If you pick any points inside the rectangle, any two points inside the rectangle and draw a line, the line will always be contained in the rectangle. So if you pick A and B, the line is still in the rectangle, so it is a convex set. For the third one, however, if you pick the points A and B and draw the line, you see that this part of the line, it is outside of the shaded region. Therefore, this shaded region or this set of points is not a convex set. Because you can pick two points, draw a line, and then some parts of the line lies outside of the set. For the last one that looks like a donut, if you connect point A to B, there will be a part of the line that lies outside of the shaded region. So therefore, this is also not a convex set. If we have a convex set S, then we call the point P is an extreme point. P is an extreme point if any line inside the S and contains P always has P as the endpoint. Let's take a look at an example in the circle. So suppose this is our point P and then we have three lines that contains P. We see that this point always becomes the endpoint of the line. So P is an extreme point. So actually for the case of the circle, all points in the circumference of the circle is an extreme point. Another example in the second one, a rectangle. Let's take a look at this point A. And we let's say we call this point as P. We have lines that contain this point and we see that the point A or point P is always the end point of each line. That's why we call it extreme. That is not the case, for example, if you take a look at point E. We have the line AB here, but E is not the end point, right? Therefore, E is not an extreme point because we can find at least one line that contains E, but E is not the end point. Therefore, E is not an extreme point. So why do they matter? First, the feasible region of any linear programming is a convex set. If you look at the Giappetto problem, the feasible region here is a convex set. You pick two points inside the feasible region, you draw a line, the line will always contain inside the region. And then any linear programming that has an optimal solution has an extreme point that is optimal. So what's so good about this? Well, it means that it reduces the possibilities of an optimal point. So when you want to check which one is the optimal solution for a problem, 
instead of checking so many infinitely many points inside the visible region here, you can only check a finite number of extreme points. So you can check only the extreme points and see which one has the optimal value. And that is the optimal solution. So here's the question again to check your understanding. I will give you the answer after the pause of the video. So I strongly suggest you to pause the video as well to think about the answer. Okay, so 0 0.100 is an extreme point of the feasible region and it may be an optimal solution. True or false? The answer is false. 0 0.100 is not even in the feasible region. Therefore, it cannot be the optimal solution.